This is our ATI CW3 welding machine. We actually manufacture this machine here from uh, just raw material that comes in. We've got about 160 of them around the world for welding torque converters, uh, literally from New Zealand to, uh, to Baltimore. So we're going to show you a quick demonstration on how easy it is to weld a torque converter, whether it's new or remanufactured, here in, uh, in our shop at ATI. So Sharon is our welder and she's going to pick up the converter and flip it over. We've got a nice six jaw set true chuck with soft jaws on it that need boring on occasionally to make sure we stay straight. And so what happens is that faceplate has a bushing in it. And it's a real tight tolerance in here where the bushing goes in and this is adjustable in three different axes. And when the plate comes down that grabs our pilot on the converter because you got to make sure the converter is square, concentric, and true. Okay, now that we're ready uh, with the converter, we'll run the faceplate down, grabs the pilot and puts air pressure on the back of it. So right now we've got 100 pounds of air pressure pushing back here against the pads, which of course are flat from machining. So now we're going to check our end play. When we do that, there's a rod that comes up through the machine, goes back through the pump, through the stator, and hits the turbine, which pushes the cover up. Now we want to adjust it to the correct number. Go ahead. So the, the rod just came down to so zero. We'll let it go up. There we go. We've got about twenty thousandths end play. So the cover is the cover and the turbine is pushed away from the pump and the stator so that we have 20 thousandths of clearance in here now. So now we're about ready to tack and weld. Alright, so after everything's ready, we'll bring the torch in. It's easily adjustable with a couple knobs here. Get it right to where she wants it. And now we'll do a tack and start rotating. Quick little gas perch to make sure we have it. So now the tack's holding the top and the bottom together. It's going to rotate around. We have a full speed switch so you can run it faster if you want to. So it's a manual operation to stop it, and you can see she had her magnet right there. And you can usually also hear when it starts to overlay it, but you can see how nice the bead looks when everything's adjusted well. You have to make sure you have a wire feeder with burn back capabilities so that when it finishes it, it takes the wire up away because you don't want it ever to stick. So at this point, the converter's done and welded, we would send it out, but uh, we're going to go ahead and check the uh, run out and see what it looks like. Okay, so we've just got an easy little mag base and then a dial test indicator that's uh, accurate to 5 tenths. So I found our low spot already and we'll go ahead and jog it around. We're all the way out on the very end of the pilot as far as we can be. Let's see, we're just getting to 3 thousandths total indicator run out. Should head right on back. Back to zero, and we made a full circle right there. We we're able to do that just with a simple uh, jog button and, re and run it right on around. It's pretty straightforward and easy. So, there you go. You can see how quick and uh, simple it is to weld a converter when you've got the right equipment and you've got good parts coming through it and uh, a good welder. Thanks for watching.